Ladies and gentlemen, the new year is upon us, and it is starting off with a bang. Love it or hate it, in a few weeks we will have a new sheriff in the White House, and I even have a new pencil. So what better way to bring in the new year than to beat that same old dead horse that I have been beating on for the last eight years? Just one more time. Of course, that dead horse, that overdone subject, that subject that I bring up more than any other subject, what will really happen if you transmit on a Boofwang UV5R, or any hams radio for that matter, without an FCC license? But first, allow me to be serious for just a moment, because many people are still much confuculated about what will happen if you break FCC laws with your Boofwang UV5R or any other two-way radio, and many of those people rely on me, the world-renowned queen of all that is GMRS and the jack of all diamonds of ham radio. They rely upon me for the answers. So here we are. But this year, things are going to be different because not only do we have the Boofwang UV5R hams radio, just like we've always had, which to transmit on requires an FCC HAMS license, sometimes referred to as an amateur radio license or simply a government permission slip. But we now also have the Boofwang UV5R GMRS version, which also requires an FCC license to transmit on. No license or permission slip is required to purchase, own, or possess this type of radios. The permission slip is only required if you plan to press this button, like this. So for 2025, with the new sheriff in town and a new head of the FCCs, what is changing with regard to getting huge fines or going to jail for doing that without a permission slip? My friend, the short answer is Nothing. All indications are that nothing is going to change. And by that, I mean that scofflaws simply using a GMRS or HAMS radio like the Boofwang UV5R or any GMRS or HAMS radio to simply talk with their friends whilst lacking a permission slip from the government will continue to be in no danger of going to jail, being fined, or even getting a mean letter nicely asking them to stop, just like it has been for the last 10 or more years, irregardless of the lies and made-up fairy tales that some people continue to spread all across the internet. The fact is that based on the FCC's own public enforcement database, of which I will link to in the information section below, receiving a notice of a fine from the FCC's and even getting just a mean letter nicely asking you to stop whatever stupid things you're doing with your hams or GMRS radio, is and will likely continue to be an exceedingly rare event. And anyone that wishes to call me a liar is welcome to leave a link to the FCC's enforcement database listings for each of the alleged fines, mean letters, or jail time to back up their lies and their fairy tales proving me wrong. And allow me to take a moment to remind everyone, when someone claims that the FCC's arrested their brother or their next door neighbor got a $10,000 fine from the FCC's, if there is no link to the FCC's enforcement database for that specific action, it never happened. Unless it happened more than 15 years ago, in which case, nobody cares. And to be clear, and hopefully to prevent some people from leaving any stupid comments, I am referring to people getting into trouble with the FCCs for simply talking with their friends over the radio of their choice without a permission slip from the government. I am not referring to people causing intentional and continued interference, jamming repeaters, or interfering with businesses or public safety frequencies. Although getting into trouble for any of those things is also exceedingly rare, but they do happen. And again, I will put links to the FCC's public enforcement database and the FCC's mean letter archive down below so that if anyone claims that I am wrong, they can see the facts for themselves. However, even when the facts are presented right in front of them vis-a-vis -vis the FCC's enforcement database, some 
people will continue to spread the lies, call me names, and obsess over me. So for all of those mentally disturbed and socially broken people, I have this to say. Thank you. Thank you to all of the mentally unbalanced and low IQ individuals that obsessively watch all of my videos and leave multiple, sometimes dozens of comments complaining about how much you hate watching my videos, driving up video views and engagement that, as everyone knows, the YouTube algorithm loves making my channel even more popular on YouTube. Thank you for all of the free advertising and promotion and exposure you have done for me over the last year on all of the online forums, Facebook, Reddit, and everywhere else, whining about how much you hate me and how much you hate watching my videos. And thank you. Thank you for being one of the main driving forces that has made me the queen of all that is GMRS and now also the jack of diamonds of the hams radio. With your continued obsessive, mentally and emotionally unbalanced support, hopefully by this time next year, I will be the queen of not only all that is GMRS, but also the undisputed queen of the hams radio. <laughs>